Hey there and welcome to the Dave Does channel and today I'm going to be checking out uh, Ice Nine Kills and Real Big Fish and Walking on Sunshine. Now, I have to say I'm a bit apprehensive about this. There's a couple of reasons for why for it. So uh, Walking on Sunshine, which is what Casey and the Sunshine Band originally did it. Uh, really well known, just pop song. Uh, Walking on Sunshine. Very poppy. It's a good little track actually. Um, I know Real Big Fish, a big band from my earlier days, so, uh, and they were in, I've, if I remember right, Real Big Fish was the band that was in cl the film Clueless, as the performance band, if I remember rightly. Uh, so I remember that, and Ice Nine Kills, I've done a couple of videos for uh, in review, and always found them quite an interesting band. I uh, haven't really got done much with them, though, I haven't really listened to them in my own personal life, so uh, I know a little bit about that. So I'm not really sure... It's the purpose of this. So taking these two bands and going, we'll do this cover song of the song Walking on Sunshine. The first question that went into my head was, why? And probably the answer is, why not? Uh, and fair enough. <laughs> if it's just because you've got something to do, you might as well. But it's a very odd pairing. Um, and I'm not sure if it does any favours for either band. So... Does this does this raise the stock or the visibility of either band? Possibly it gives you more visibility, but it doesn't help them with their core material. Probably ice, probably real big fish. It probably helps more than it does ice nine kills. I would say uh, because there'll be people that have never heard nice real big fish's style with with the trumpets and uh, uh, trombones and saxophones and all that sort of sort of that brass section that you would obviously not hear with ice nine kills. So uh, I don't. I don't know. Let's let's watch the video. Let's watch the video. Let's do that. That's probably what you actually came here rather than me talking bollocks. So uh, yeah, let's do I, let's do Ice Nine Kills, Robbie Fish, and Walking on Sunshine. My pain is everlasting and vicious. I want that pain to be flipped on others. <laughs> this is not an accident. I used to think maybe you love me Now baby I'm sure And I just can't wait till the day When you knock on my door Now every time I go for the mailbox I gotta hold myself down I can't work out if I like this or not right now It's an interesting matchup, though. I don't know what's that at this point. It's definitely a lot of thought process taken into the video, which I like, and obviously right, the comedy elements. And there's a lot of thought process however to incorporate the two bands into their parts.
Okay. I have so many questions going through my head right now. Okay, so Ice Nine Kills and Real Big Fish and Walking on Sunshine. So, <sighs> there are some really good mashups of bands where we have some good combinations and there are some really good covers of songs where you, they just absolutely works and you go, that's just, that's the best version of it. I don't think that's the case in this one. So, it's a cover song for me that I just didn't need to hear, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, it's funny in the sense of taking this song and mashing it up and throwing heaviness on it and doing this hum humorous video uh, and having two bands do it. And I, I, I get the idea. And if you have the opportunity to do it, why wouldn't you have a go at it? But I don't see who benefits out of this in the slightest because it hasn't made me want to go and check out either of those two bands in any more detail. Because I don't think it showcases what Ice Nine Kills does, and I don't think it really showcases what Real Big Fish do, from what I've heard of both those bands previously. So it hasn't made me want to do either of go and check them out anymore. I don't think it did any favours for the song, apart from the irony of the fact that it's uh, Walking on Sunshine is a very positive song, song, and they're doing it to a effectively a mass murderer, uh, a serial killer, effectively. Um, so I just don't get the point of it. And I'm sure people are going to go, there doesn't need to be a point. It's just fun. Just forget about it. Stop overthinking about it and just enjoy it. But that's the problem is I didn't actually enjoy it. Um, and it may be because I was I thought about the mashup beforehand, but I actually do like Walking on Sunshine. It's quite a good song. It's, I'll tell you what, I have, I have listened to it, not on a regular basis, but we do have some compilation uh, mixes and stuff like that that we play in the car when me and the wife are driving somewhere and that might come on. And I just, I'm like, if it's a sunny day, it's, it's quite a good positive song. I don't think this has done anything to improve the original. I don't think it's a great alternative to the original. Um, I do understand what they've done to try and make their two styles mix mix we've tried to get that aggressive factor from ice nine kills in um i just from what i've heard from both those bands their original stuff is so much better than what they've done in this mashup so i don't understand the purpose of it because it doesn't add any favor does it i mean ice nine ice nine kills stuff i have heard i thought has been really good very creative great videos and again this was a really good video but the song just didn't do them any favors Real Big Fish, the few times that I've heard them, uh, again, great party songs, and it works really well. And again, they're having a bit of party with it, but I don't add, add in the heavy, I think if they'd just done Walking on Sunshine on their own, it would have been a great cover. Um, but it would have sounded just like the original, unfortunately. So I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking it, and maybe I'm not giving it the chance that, and the, that it, it deserves. But I think I'd I think I'd rather have spent rather than doing three four minutes on that I'd rather just checked out a brand new originals band and given them the time of my, my time to and thought process, then listen to a mashup of two two bands doing a cover of an eighties song Walking on Sunshine, and not doing a great version of it or not doing the well they did a good version but not doing the subversion any favors and not doing themselves any favors if that makes sense. I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I do appreciate it, and I know that my feedback is not gonna appreciate it. A lot of people are gonna hate that, but it's just an honest feedback on it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now, if you enjoyed the video though today, please do like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on my video sometime very soon. Take care.